Hi there, I want to show you this basic graph theory result about how the number of vertices and edges in a graph affects the minimum number of components that it must have. A graph with n vertices and m edges must have at least n minus m components. To see why this is, let's take a quick look at this graph which has three components. I want you to think about how adding a single edge to this graph could alter the number of components the graph has. One possibility is that we add an edge that joins two vertices that are in the same component. This of course is not going to change the number of components in the graph, although it would have the effect of reducing this bound by one n minus m would be one smaller if we increase the number of edges by one. But this does not reduce the number of components at all. The other possibility, and in fact the only other possibility, is that instead of joining two vertices that are in the same component, and thus not changing the number of components, an edge could join two vertices from different components. Thus, it brings two components into a single new component, reducing the total number of components by one. So when we add an edge, we at most reduce the number of components by one, but it's possible we don't reduce the number of components at all. This is the key to understanding this result. Every edge reduces the number of components by one at most. So I want you to think about graphs starting with all of their vertices and no edges. And then think about how the number of components gets affected as we add all of our edges into the graph. So for example, we could start with this empty graph. It's got no edges and it has uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven vertices. So N is seven. And let's start to think about n minus m. Remember, our result says that a graph has to have at least n minus m components. Right now, n minus m is 7 minus 0, which equals 7, because we've got no edges, so m is 0. So our result would say our graph has to have at least seven components, and indeed it does. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven trivial components. This is in fact the most components a graph can have is when it has no edges. Like I said, if we add a single edge, we could reduce the number of components by one. So now, n minus m is seven minus one, because we've added a single edge, which is six. So our result says the graph must have at least six components. And of course we do. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when we add another edge, we're going to reduce the number of components by one once again. And now n minus m becomes seven minus two, which is five. And of course we have one, two, three, four, five components. Now we've got enough going on in this graph that if we add another edge, we could reduce the number of components by one if we join two vertices from different components, uh, but we could also add an edge that does not reduce the number of components. If we add that edge there, seven minus three is now n minus m because we've got seven vertices and three edges, and this is four, and of course we still have one, two, three, four, five components. That of course fits the result, that is at least four components. So do you see why the result is true? Do you see why n minus m is this magic number for the minimum number of components a graph could have? It starts off with n components if we imagine that it starts off without any of its edges. And then each of the m edges we add could reduce the number of components by at most one. So the minimum number of components we could have is n minus m. Coming back to the top of the page, here is the result with some of the explanation written out. A graph with n vertices and m edges has at least n minus m components, because if m equals zero, the graph has n components. All of its vertices are their own components. But then if we start adding the edges in, 
every edge reduces the number of components by one at most. And thus, since there are m edges, n minus m is the smallest possible number of components. Hopefully with all that, you can see why this result is true. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions or requests. Scaling the stratosphere, coming down soon.